when Trump's campaign, the managers had said, let Trump be Trump, there's a lot we can learn from that. TV personality Lisa Gibbons knows Donald Trump well. The winner of The Celebrity Apprentice is Lisa Gibbons. <laughs> Lisa won Celebrity Apprentice last year, beating out Geraldo Rivera for Trump's last season as host. She says he's taking the lessons he learned from The Apprentice to the presidential campaign. Trump was really able to cue up dramatic moments because he sees them, he creates them. A lot has been made of how Donald Trump treats women. Mm. How did Donald Trump treat you? Very respectfully. Um, and had he not, then I would have put a boundary there. Lisa's new book is called Fierce Optimism, Seven Secrets for Playing Nice and Winning Big. She says, unlike Trump, you can be a winner and still be nice. Sometimes showing up for what you believe in, what you care about, what your values are, means that you have to take a stand that is not always the popular stand. But it doesn't mean that you have to do it in a way that's not nice. And what if Trump is elected president? According to Kate Anderson Brower, author of First Women, The Grace and Power of America's Modern First Ladies, the White House domestic staff is getting nervous. I wanted to uh, thank you for the opportunity to work in the White House. The butlers, chefs, and others who serve at the beck and call of the first family are already worried about a President Trump reigning over them. They could just fire anybody because Donald Trump has like a roster of amazing chefs that he knows that he could bring in. And he's not reluctant to say you're fired. You're fired. The domestic staff is also reportedly worried that a President Trump would bring his famously flashy style to D.C. and turn the White House into the Trump House. They are concerned about him redecorating and, and yes, maybe blinging it out a little bit more. Yeah. The possibility of a first lady Melania Trump is reminding many of another gilded first lady, Jackie Kennedy. I think she'll be a lot more like Jackie Kennedy. She's going to bring glamour back in a way to the White House, but certainly it's, it would be unprecedented to have like a supermodel in the White House. Donald Trump and his arch nemesis, Megyn Kelly, are apparently making peace. Yeah, there's a real mystery about this. She hasn't commented on it yet, neither has Trump. But yeah. my sources say this meeting uh, was the culmination of Kelly reaching out to Trump, seeking a face to face. CNN reports that the Fox News anchor was seen entering Trump Tower in Midtown Manhattan, where she and Trump tried to work out their differences, which stem from the very first GOP debate last year. You've called women you don't like fat pigs dogs, slobs. An MSNBC editor tweeted, Megyn Kelly just entered the Trump Tower incognito, met by a member of his team who took her upstairs. It is intriguing because if you think about all of Trump's targets, all of his, uh, the people that he seems to dislike, and Megyn Kelly be at the top of the list. Uh, he has criticized her viciously at times. Trump has called Kelly overrated and even crazy, but his attacks have backfired and triggered concern about how he treats women.